What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweak review. We're taking a look at Priority Hub 2. Now a lot of you might remember Priority Hub, the original. This is basically the up-to-date version that works on iOS 10 and I believe this is still in beta. Now you will have to add a repo in Cydia in order to get this. I will leave the package information in the description so you guys can easily uh, copy and paste the repo into your Cydia to get the tweak. But anyways, if you guys don't know what Priority Hub is, it's a really cool tweak. Let's go into Color Banners 2 just to do the uh, test. We'll test the lock screen. And that's basically what Priority Hub is. It changes kind of the layout of which you receive notifications on the lock screen. And also you can adjust it in Notification Center as well. So as you guys can see, it basically shows you uh, your app icon for the notifications you've received. If you want to view the notification, you can just click on whatever application you want. Obviously from there you could clear the notification if you wanted to, but I think it's, you know, a really cool look to have, you know, the uh, icons laid out like this and then you can basically check out your notifications from this. So definitely a really cool look and tweak. Let's go ahead and back out and let's go down to Priority Hub. So here are the settings. You have independent settings for lock screen and notification center. We'll go into lock screen first. There's a few more options within here than there is in notification center. So first off at the top you have your enabled on off switch. You have send test notification to see what it's going to look like. Uh, you can move the icons from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. You can adjust the icon size. I have mine on full size because I think it looks really cool but you can adjust it, you know, make it smaller, large, medium, small, depending on whatever your preference is. Uh, here are some more options. You can enable pull to clear. You have privacy mode. You can deselect on lock. And when no app is selected, you can hide all. At the bottom here, we do have vertical adjustments. Now, unfortunately for me, whenever I try to change the vertical adjustments, it doesn't actually move the priority hub, so it's kind of a disappointment. But like I said, guys, I'm pretty sure this is still in beta, so it's going to need some updates yet. But uh, you can adjust the vertical uh, uh, vertical adjustment eventually, hopefully soon. comes with an update because I would like to move it up just a little bit on my lock screen. But that's pretty much the settings for the uh, lock screen. We can back out and go into Notification Center. Uh, I'll turn it on. I actually have it disabled right now. So if we pull down, as you guys can see, the same concept here. It's a little bit buggy looking in my opinion. I don't really like using it for Notification Center, but if you guys want to, uh, you do have that option. We can change the number style here. Let's see if that, that looks a little bit better. We can have none, so it'll just show the applications. Or it should, it didn't actually adjust it. Some of this might need a, a respring to take effect. We'll do below icon. Same kind of concept here. You have enable pull to clear. You have deselect on close, and when no app is selected, you can basically choose what you want, show all notifications, uh, hide all notifications, depending on whatever you want to do, but that's pretty much it guys. It's a very straightforward tweak. I think it just looks really, really good. Let's go and back out and go back up to Color Banners 2. I like using this tweak to test out stuff, so let's do test lock screen. And there we go. Like I said guys, Priority Hub 2, definitely a really cool looking tweak. Again, the package information is down in the description for those of you that want to download it and try it out. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tweak review. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.